This is where it gets dangerous right here. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to continue working on our 2019 Canon Maverick X3, which was involved in a rollover accident, which broke a bunch of plastics and scratched it up as well. So today we're actually going to start tearing this thing apart, trying to figure out what we need to replace, what we need to order. And uh, before we do so, we're going to go ahead and give this thing a nice wash all the way around, clean all the mud off of it, and then we're going to pull it inside. Dang, that sucker cleaned up, didn't it? Dang, it looks really good. There's still a bunch of dirt like underneath the plastics that we really couldn't get to unless we spent like two hours on this thing. Dude, but these suckers are actually hard to detail. I ain't gonna lie, hard, dude. Very hard to detail. There's just mud everywhere, especially if you go through a lot of mud. There's just mud everywhere caked up on but this thing. But it does look a lot better yeah, right looks, now. It looks nice and dry. Oh, man. But right now, we're actually gonna pull it inside, uh, let it dry off a little bit, and then we're gonna start tearing this thing apart. And maybe once we tear a bunch of plastics off, probably pull it back out here and wash it again. What do you think? Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking because underneath there's stuff caked on i'd like to get a brush to it as well get that yeah. engine bay real nice definitely degrease it really well and make this thing look brand new but let's go ahead pull it inside and then we'll start taking this thing apart So we're not going to be needing those rock lights. That's why we just went ahead and sniffed them because the wiring is just all over the place and they probably still don't work because the whole entire modular box for that thing is actually underneath the seat and it was completely underwater. But other than that, these things are still completely beat up. We're probably going to get some nice new ones, connect it all and make the wiring look a lot nicer than what it is. But anyways, check out this thing. This thing is actually pretty crazy, dude. All just straight tubes, basically. You know what I mean? The only bend that I really can see from here is basically just a roll cage itself, which you can get an aftermarket roll cage if your roll cage was actually messed up. But other than that, dude, if you get one smashed right here on the side, it'll probably be super easy to rebuild honestly just go to your local uh metal, metal yard, yard get a few tubes or pipes whatever you want to call these and weld them straight in because, because you could buy all these panels these panels are nothing to replace really yeah they're nothing to replace they're really not that bad i mean you're looking for every panel probably on this thing if you really need to you're looking at what like two thousand dollars yeah exactly $2, we already $2, ordered a thousand dollars in panels and that's not and that's all just like the a little bit of the exterior like most of the exterior panels yeah. right most of the front end the side panels but yeah they're not too bad all plastic but dude it's simple dude actually all torx bits all over this i took off like six torx bits it took off really easily now we're going to go ahead and actually jump on that side remove that panel then hopefully we can just go ahead and completely remove this entire front end mm -hmm.
So that front end is torn apart and dang, it looks pretty weird right there. It definitely looks weird with no plastics on it, but dude, just check that out, man. The radiator, I thought the intercooler would be up here for the turbo. Where is the intercooler? I really haven't even seen it yet, even looking in the engine bay. But other than that, dude, look how much mud is clogged up in this radiator. Yeah, I actually got in contact with one of the buddies of the previous owner and he said he flipped it in a mud hole which explains all the mud. Heck yeah, dude, this thing looks like it's been in mud <laughs> gay high right here because underneath the seats and everywhere, just look at that, dude. We're definitely gonna have to give this thing a wash once we remove a little bit more panels and we're gonna have to wash this radiator out really good so it don't overheat because there's some mud clogged up in there. But dude, check out how much travel these shocks have, dude. And we could even adjust it more. I, yeah, I wonder if you can lift it about an inch. You, you can lift so? it more. Look, I think you can lift it that much right there. Or, or uh, almost that much because mm. as you can tell, this thing spins as well. I don't know, but Anyways, dude, it looks really cool. And we did notice the fuel tank was underneath the dash over here, which is a, actually a really tiny fuel tank. Dude, look at that, man. What is that, a gallon or two? Looks but like a- I guess this three cylinder doesn't eat that much fuel. Yeah, that three yeah. cylinder turbo is really economical. And it got eco mode, so you can really save on fuel. But anyways, let's go ahead and keep tearing this thing apart. Alrighty guys, so we finally got both sides off. It looks pretty dang crazy, but that's gonna give us a lot of room to actually get in there and detail it. We're actually gonna move on to the back end here, probably remove this little carrier thing right here, and also this uh, back shroud right here for the exhaust and all that. And we can get some brushes to that engine, ba engine, engine bay, right? Engine, engine bay. I mean, you can call it an engine bay, but we're definitely gonna have to clean that sucker up because this mud is just caked on there. Just look at all that mud behind there. But we're gonna have to clean it up as best as possible. Not like we're gonna get any mud on there, but right. you know, it's better to wash this thing as soon as you get mud on there because this stuff right here will actually stain, right? Oh yeah, but we are about to go back outside into the cold. It is right now cold because as you can tell, you can hear the fire crackling back there. I was getting some wood, but no matter what, we're still gonna give this thing a nice wash and we might even rip it in this state right here. What do you think? Might rip it before we give it a wash because this thing looks freaking crazy dude. with the, just the roll cage showing. Dude. Hey, it's weight reduction at its finest. We may yep. even be able to pop a wheelie or jump higher on some jumps. So let's and go we ahead. we need to build a jump for this thing. What? We got a skid steer. <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead and keep on tearing this thing apart so we can detail it real nice.
so we finally got this whole entire thing taken apart and it looks absolutely crazy especially with this rear half of this roll cage taken apart and that cargo area man we definitely need to get a new exhaust that sucker looks funky first off and second off it's way too quiet so we do want to get a full exhaust probably like a yoshi mirror or something like that something crazy man something it needs to, crazy it needs to get opened up and there is like a little like cat right there i think i don't know man we're gonna have to little remove cat. all we'll that we'll have to remove that little cat with a little dog yeah a little cat and a little dog <laughs> no, i'll definitely do a straight pipe there but before we actually pull it outside to detail it and and remove those seats we're actually going to do a little bit of ripping see how much weight reduction this thing has see right if it's now in a little see if it's a little faster see than if it's a little faster you know. see if it rips some fatter rooster tails something yep. like that so let's go ahead go to the other property give it a few rippings looks like a trinassosaurus out some sort of dinosaur that's don't try this at home with no doors Professionals only. Got it? A little bit. You're a GoPro mount right there. <laughs> Woo, it's chilly. It sure is. Full blast through the ditch. This thing's a lot lighter. Is it really? It feels like it. I don't know. Hey, that thing rips, dude. I wonder to see if I can do that in uh, all-wheel drive. Try it. Don't want to flip it, but I mean, we ain't got no plastics to harm. Ooh. I'm just going to try it. You know, we got a little bit more it. dangerous to watch your hands and stuff. Yep, I'll just keep them right just here. Just tuck and roll. Just tuck and roll. Tuck and roll. You ready? I'm sure, I sure am. Alright. All-wheel drive. Yep. Drive. That thing is digging, dude. Oh man, look out. I mean, the tires are really meaty. There is no way that this thing is just gonna do a full spin and all-wheel drive. But anyways, this little turn right here is a lot of fun. Yeah, that tore me up a little bit. I ain't doing that again. <laughs> Thing looks like it's homemade, dude. I don't want to tear it up too much, but I'm telling you, man, it feels a little lighter. Let me give it a, a little lighter on the steering. Woo. I was trying to Ken block it right there, you know, do like a full 180 drift. Go all the way around this tree right here. <laughs> No, I don't want to rip this grass up too much, so I think yeah. we're good. It was fun test driving it without all the plastics, but it's a little bit dangerous. So let's go ahead and let it cool off, pull these seats out, and give this thing a nice detail. All right, guys, so now that we got the seats out, we're gonna go ahead and pressure wash this thing once again. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and bring the chemicals and brushes out and try to make this thing look brand new. Alright, so we just got done pressure washing this thing for a good hour or so trying to get all the mud off of it And it actually looks really good But before we bring it inside we're gonna go ahead spray some chemicals on it brush a few things And then we're gonna wash it down once more including the seats in that rear section Then once we do that we're gonna bring it inside and show you guys the parts that we got Dang, a 
freaking bag? There's a bag and there's some mud over there that's got collected over the years. Dude, that's weird. Good thing we ordered a new filter, which should be in here real soon. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just a little dusty, but definitely needs a new filter. Definitely a bag doesn't need to be in there, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, I don't even know how that thing got sucked up in there. But this engine is starting to look good. Let's keep, on, let's keep on moving. All right, guys, we are back in the garage. The Can-Am is looking absolutely amazing. But these are all of our boxes here that we ordered directly from Can-Am. This is basically all of our exterior panels. So let's go ahead, pull everything out, and show you guys exactly what we got. Alright, so this is what we got. We got all these brand new panels and they look absolutely amazing. Dude, just check that out. That's the main front panels right here. And these are our little rockers. Yeah, that... center, there's there's front, center, and then a rear section yeah, right front, here. Front, center, and rear. So we got all of them, including the front section as well as these color panels for the top of it. Uh, the only thing that we really were looking for that we couldn't find are our two rear quarter panels that are this red color. This is red for Can-Am. It almost looks like orange, but I guess Can-Am calls that red. We couldn't find them two quarter panels if we can't find them in red we're gonna go ahead and probably just uh, do black because we are ordering some custom doors for this thing that are gonna be also black right They're gonna yeah be black. we're ordering a bunch of custom things for this thing so this thing I just can't say too much I, yeah, just wanted, I just wanted to say we're, we are getting custom doors so if you're worried about us getting brand new doors because them are just completely scratched up so let's go ahead and actually start putting some of this stuff back together So that front end is coming together. It looks absolutely amazing with those brand new plastics, but we just noticed that the way these Can-Am body panels are put together, they're actually put together from the rear to the front. So that's actually what we're gonna have to do before we can even pop this piece in right here. That's kind of what stalled us. So we're actually gonna reposition this Can-Am, start putting together that rear end, and then we're gonna move our way forward. So finally, all of our side plastics are on. They look absolutely amazing, other than our scratched up quarter panel and fender flare, which we are on the lookout for. We did have to pop off that front end. As you know, we do gotta work from the back to the front. So let's go ahead and complete that other side, and then we'll be able to pop on that front end. All right. 
right guys, so all the plastics are basically on and this thing looks absolutely amazing other than the doors, which we are getting custom doors made for this thing, so stay tuned for that. But I gotta say, I love this front end and how well it came together. It looks basically brand new, but right now we're actually gonna go ahead, move on to the back over here and install our tail lights, which our tail lights were actually damaged. We were missing one, so we got some brand new ones right here, right out of the box. So let's go ahead, open them up and try to install them. So that is it for the Can-Am. It looks absolutely amazing. It is starting to come together. We are gonna order a few more things, so stay tuned for that. And a bunch of aftermarket parts are coming as well. So this thing is gonna come together and it's gonna be mean. It's gonna perform a lot better. It's gonna absolutely transform. But before we go, we do wanna open up some of your guys' love and support, some of your guys' fan mail. So let's go ahead and start from the top and work our way down here. It's been a while since we did fan mail, so this is pretty exciting. It's aluminum, but I think, ooh, what is that? I have no idea what that Old, is. Old like classic sign, Alfa Romero. There's no letter in here or anything, but that's pretty dang cool. We're definitely gonna hang that up. That's just some wall art. Awesome piece of art, yeah, definitely. Let's see what else we got right here. Try not to damage any more. Ooh, I think this is from the same person. Ooh, what? That is pretty sweet. I guess they did that with uh, probably like some sort something of hot. Something hot. A something trim hot. That looks cool. Who's that from? Hello, it's me. I really like you guys. I really like your channel. So this is the early uh, Christmas gift. Cheers, Jesse Gillini. Appreciate that. All the way Jesse. from Netherlands in Europe. So definitely appreciate that. That's pretty cool. We're definitely gonna hang that up. All right, next one here. Who is this one from? This, it doesn't say. Oh, this actually says Let Police me Owners of America. Hey. Oh man. We're officially police owners. Police owners. Police car owners. Police car owners, yeah. That's what we are. Police car owners. That's what? that's weird. Oh, you dropped a few things. Dude. What is that? We cruise in the real cruisers. That's that pretty is legit. Sick. Are we in, are we part of the crew now? The oh, police car oh, crew. It's official. My other car is a cruiser. That's that pretty sweet. That is crazy. That looks awesome, dude. Dude, that's We're definitely going to have to throw probably sweet. some of them on the car. For sure. Probably throw that on the front tags if we have an area definitely, right there. Definitely, dude. That is legit. Got a wrap sheet. I don't know what all this that's is. That's probably, you have to join the group. You probably got to sign up. You got to sign up <laughs> to make it 100% official. What else do we got here? We got some patches that you can just iron onto your clothes. That's perfect match. And then we got some police car owners of... I don't know what that is. I, this is like Dude, an actual we're definitely decal. Definitely have to throw that on the car. That's gonna look good. Let's see if there's a letter. There's no letter in here, but whoever sent that, we definitely appreciate that. That's pretty cool. Moving right along here, we got a box. This one was pretty heavy, so I wonder what's inside. Oh, there's a brick. What? A five-ton two-way oh. pull clamp. We definitely need one of those, dude. dude. We we're pulling with the winch. Now we can just connect, hook it right there, and it should just tighten up for us. Dude, whoever sent that no letter, dude, this is definitely thoughtful, and we really appreciate that. All right, so another box here. These are two boxes from the same company. Is this from Crest? That's Crest. What it looks like Crest Company. I don't know what exactly this I is. I think I know what Crest is. I bought a few items that that had that logo on it. Toothpaste. That's Toothpaste. what I think. No, it's actually, uh, I think, body stuff. Ooh. What is that what? right there? What? Dude. Oh, what is this is like that? cleaner for like when you got dirty hands and stuff. Oh, dang. That is legit. I knew it was something to do with automotive because I bought a few things. Got a couple ball caps there. Got some snacks for Thomas and I think this is Thomas and Buddy maybe. That is legit, That's pretty cool. guys. Oh, what is this? What? Is An that epoxy a double? gun. Is that a double? Oh my goodness, dude. That's, a... That's something that we've, that we've definitely needed, dude. You That's... can actually mix some very strong epoxy with that. Oh yeah, that's some heavy duty stuff. Got some more wipes, dude. We always use this stuff. Yeah, so. never have enough of that stuff. Thank you guys so much. And what? My got... favorite right here. <laughs> that's, this I knew is my favorite that. right here. That is legit. Microfibers, oh, we needed some today. We actually ran out, so that's perfect timing. You know what I mean? Then we got the epoxy right here. Oh Definitely gonna goodness. use that for something. You know we use epoxy all the time. Here, grab that real quick. We got epoxy tips, everything. Dude, that Bunch is legit, shit, dude. They are Bunch hooking us up. There. That's just the first box right there. Bunch of goodies from Crest. Who? Got their whole manual booklet. Dang, we got a manual. Not. So Crest basically just hooked us up. Let's open up this one and see what's what's inside. This is the last one right here. Bonda. 
Is that what is that? I thought it was. Oh, oh there's your favorite. That's dude. that's where I seen the logo. Crest Seal Skin, dude. That dude. stuff is amazing, guys. High quality. If stuff. you want some very thin bondo or body filler, dude, guys, y'all gotta check out this Seal Skin from Crest. Definitely is one of the best products I ever used. What, what do we, we got, got here? here? Shark by Ultra Premium Lightweight Filler, dude. Dude, that looks crazy right there. Hey, if that <laughs> stuff was high quality, I guarantee you this stuff is gonna be high quality as well. Definitely. So. so I didn't see no letter in here. Maybe I'm not just looking enough, but thank you guys so much. This is definitely gonna help us out. So that is gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys for all the love and support. Thanks for the fan mail. We really appreciate you guys. We couldn't have done it without you. And also make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything. And if you haven't, be sure to follow us on Instagram where you can get inside scoop there before YouTube. Also, if you wanna help support your boys, be sure to visit GoonSquad.com and copy some merch. Don't forget to leave your comments and thoughts down below, and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.